Hi guys, um, hope everybody's doing great. Um, today we're going to do about a 45 minute flow um, and we'll get started in child's pose. Um, so you can go ahead and find either a mat or just like a comfy place in your house, probably the carpet would be more comfy um, to get yourself set up. But yeah, so when you're ready to start your practice, we'll start in child's pose. Um, you can either have your knees wide or you can bring your knees together and then just walk your hands out in front. And allow your forehead to rest on the mat if that's okay. And then you might just start to settle in to wrap your forehead a little side to side. Stretch your fingers. Once you come to a place where you feel good, settle into stillness for a few breaths. start to scan from fingers to toes. Just become aware without judgment of how you're doing, how you're feeling, where you're at, wherever that is. You can be willing to meet yourself there. Take a giant breath in. giant breath out. Again, like that. Inhale. Open your mouth. Cleansing breath. Last one. Deepest breath. start to bring your hands right behind your head. Walk your elbows out a little further. And without actually moving your elbows, feel that you're pulling them back towards your body. And you should feel a stretch in your triceps. The harder you feel like you're pulling back isometrically, the bigger that stretch is going to be. And gently start to release. Start to wiggle you forward until you find a modified plank with your knees down. When you get there, drop your belly like cow pose. Pull back, child's pose. We'll do a few more like that. Inhale, round, round, round. Pull forward until you find your modified plank. And exhale, drop your belly. Press yourself back, child's pose. A couple more on your breath. start to switch out your direction to take it the other way to really pull yourself forward and then press into all your fingers up and back. And just allow your eyes to close. Just tap into your body to moving in a way that feels nice. And eventually we'll find that modified plank with your knees down and hold. So you want your body to be really in a strong line, your hands right under your shoulders. You can always walk your knees back a little bit further, pull your ribs together, and slowly we'll lower all the way down onto your belly. And when you get there, we'll take our fingers out wide, make a W with your elbows, and then press your chest up off the mat for a wide cobra. And roll it right back down, tap your forehead, and inhale, rise up. Your head will be the last thing to lift. Slowly roll down. One more time. 
time. Inhale, rise up, and this time we'll hold here. Drop your right shoulder towards the center of the mat, look over the left. Come back to center, drop the left shoulder, look over the right. Come back to center, one more each side. Drop the right, back to center, drop the left. Come back to center, lift high, then slowly lower down. And from here we'll roll over, find your back. And when you get there, bring the soles of your feet down to the ground. A couple times you might windshield wiper your knees side to side. Relax the low back. And come back towards center, bring your knees to neutral. Your feet should be hips distance apart. And then, palms are face down. Your fingertips should be pretty close to your heels. They might even touch them. Inhale, lift your hips off the mat. Find your bridge pose. So you can bring your hands to your hips here. Tilt your pelvis towards your face. So that your tailbone points straight towards your feet. And then from here, reach your arms overhead. Start to shake out your wrists. You can draw circles with them. You can use one palm to press the other hand down. Lift it up. And start to bring your hands back down by your sides. Palms are down. And then sort of nestle your shoulder blades a little bit under your body, but keep your tailbone pointed forward. Start to get lighter in your right leg. Lift your right foot forwards. Really stamp it forwards. And then laterally, we'll open it out. Pull it back in, open it out. Pull it back in, open it out. Hold, maybe bring your hands to your hips and feel that your hips are still level. Then bring it back to center, set it down. Inhale, lift your left leg, flex your toes. Then open it towards the left, pull it back in. Open it up, pull it in. Last time. Open up, hold, flex, flex, flex in your toes, then bring it back towards center, set your foot down. Bridge, hold, lift through the front of your body, and slowly lower down. Pick up your feet, take your hands to the outside edges of them, or maybe to the outsides of your calves. Find a little happy baby, rock a little side to side. Maybe you extend one leg at a time. Eventually, we'll come back to center. Pull your knees in towards your chest. And wrap your hands around your shins. You can rock a little side to side here. But eventually, we're going to take it into rocks forward and back. Grab behind your shins. And then every time you rock forward, we're going to try to catch yourself in your boat pose. Maybe release your hands. So we'll find a little bit of fire in your core. Start to build a little bit of heat. And just see if you can stop your momentum and really use your strength to sit up nice and tall. And eventually we'll find boat pose and hold. And see if you can bring your shins parallel to the ground. Maybe the soles of your feet are down on the ground, and that's great too, as long as you can feel your core work. Bring your hands to your heart. Twist towards the right. Come back to center. Twist towards the left. Come back to center. One more each side. Right. Come back to center. Left. Come back to center. Hold. Maybe you lift your arms forward. Breathe. Sit up a little bit taller. Be proud. Inhale. Then exhale, start to rock and roll. Again, no catching yourself this time, just letting it feel really good. And eventually, you'll find a standing forward fold at the back of your mat. Let your feet be hips distance apart. Just sort of rock a little bit side to side. You can pop up and down. You can grab opposite elbows. Just allow gravity to really do the work. start to release your grip. Take your left foot in front of your right foot, cross leg, forward fold, and then walk your hands around. Keep little soft bends in your knees. Unwind your legs. Take your right foot in front. And then to get out of it, 
eventually. We'll unwind. Tuck your chin. Slowly roll up to stand. When you get there, roll around your neck, your head, your shoulders. And eventually reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and stand tall. Really press your thumbs against your sternum. Soft bend in your knees, closed eyes. And if you're setting an intention for your practice, now is the time. A positive thought, an energy you're trying to cultivate, calm, peace, strength, self-love. The first thing that comes to your mind is your intention. Place your eyes open, reach your arms overhead, soft bend your knees, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Start to walk your hands all the way out until you find your downward facing dog. And when you get there, you can pedal out your feet, wiggle side to side. It should feel good to be in your down dog. It's a home base for your practice. You want your hips to be as high as you can get them. So bend your knees and send your hips a little bit higher. Soft bend in your elbows and press into your index knuckle. Bend your knees to hover over the mat. Then exhale, shoot it forward, plank pose. Then bend your knees towards the back. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. A couple more times like that. Bend your knees, inhale. Look forward, exhale, shoot it forward. Bend your knees. Try that one more time. Bend your knees. Use your breath. Exhale. Press forward. Plank. Bend your knees. Down dog. One more time. We'll bend our knees and look forward. This time we'll drop our knees all the way down to the mat. Find a tabletop position. Untuck your toes and just start to pat out your feet. And then let it go. We'll take some rounds of cat and cow. Drop your belly. Lift your gaze. And round chin to chest. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, create space between the shoulders. A couple more, your pace. And once your spine starts to feel warm, come back to your neutral tabletop position. Walk your hands forward a couple inches and start to take your hips in big circles in one direction. Close your eyes, don't worry about how it looks. And then switch it out, take it the other way. And start to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. And we'll pick up your right foot Keep your knee bent, stamp your foot towards the sky. And just start to draw really big circles with your knee. If you have any cracks or pops, just switch that out, take it the other direction. And then we'll pause with your right knee opening out towards the right, as high as you can get it. Then start to straighten your right leg, bring the whole right foot down towards the ground. And walk your hands forward, press your hips back just a little bit. Um, you should be getting a really nice stretch for your whole right leg inside and outside if you have your whole right foot down on the ground. And start to walk your hands back in. Pull your right knee back in. Drop your belly. Lift your gaze. Pull your chin to your chest. Pat your spine. Come back to neutral. Pick up your left foot. Stamp it towards the sky. And start to draw big huge circles with your knee. Switch it out, take it the other way. And then open it up as far as you can get it. Extend your leg long. And see if you can get your whole left foot all the way down and press into the outside of your foot so that you get a stretch in the outside of your leg and the inside. And then if you want it, you can walk your hands forward and press your hips back. back in, pull your knee back in, cat and cow, until you feel great, and once you feel 
great. We'll go back to down facing dog. Rise onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. When you get there, inhale, lift up halfway, we'll bring your hands in line with your hips, palms face up, gaze is down but out in front of you. Forward fold. Rise all the way up, reach high. Then exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, right back down. Inhale, lift halfway, palms face up. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, find your plank pose. This time we'll drop our knees, untuck your toes, nice and slow, lower your way all the way down onto your belly. And when you get there, with little or no weight in your hands, peel your chest off the mat, use your glutes, slowly lower down. Press your hips back for child's pose and curl your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Rise onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step forward, feet to hands. Inhale, lift halfway, palms behind you, long spine, pull your belly up and in, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, find your plank. You can drop your knees or leave them lifted, lower all the way down to the ground. And this time we'll put a little more weight into your hands, untuck your toes, press into your palms, and cobra. You can have your arms bent or you can start to straighten them a little bit more and make sure your core stays engaged. Then we'll curl your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Rise onto your toes, bend your knees, Step forward, feet to your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step the opposite foot back this time. Make sure you're kind of alternating on that if you're stepping. Then exhale, you can lower down halfway or all the way. Halfway is chaturanga. Press into the tops of your feet. Keep your legs lifted for up dog or lower your legs for cobra. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. One more sunny like that. Rise onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward. You can step or you can hop, feet towards your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, right back down. Inhale, lift halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, take it to the back of your mat, exhale, lower down, inhale, open up, exhale, downward facing dog. This time when you get here, take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Rise onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, feet to hands. And if you hop, see how lightly you can land. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, then we'll sink our hips, hands to heart, chair pose. For the chair, make sure you're set up the way you want to be. Bring your hands to your hips, tuck your tailbone under just a tiny bit so that your back is nice and flat. Your weight should be in all four corners of your feet, but you should be able to see your toes. And if you want to, you can lift your arms overhead, but it's just an option. Pinkies would turn in, thumbs would turn out. One more full breath here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. You can take it through a flow or you can skip it and just find your way straight to down the dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, pull your right knee into your chest, shift your shoulders over your wrists, then inhale, send it back long. Exhale, pull it in, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, lengthen. Last time, pull it in, exhale, step through, drop your left knee, lift your arms, low lunge. So you want to be really lifting through both sides of your body. Your toe and the back can be tucked or untucked depending what feels better for you. Often for a heart opener here, you can cactus your arms, get broad through your chest, and reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Start to walk your hands towards your hips. Flex into your toes on the right side. And pull that hip back and your right hip forward. And start to walk it back forward. Curl your back toes under. Lift your 
your knee and drop your toes to 45. Lift your arms overhead, warrior one. So here you can assist yourself by bringing your hands to your hips, really squaring them off towards the front of the room. Lift your arms overhead again. Second option for a heart opener, cactus your arms, open up. And inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, sweep your arms behind you. Tilt your chest forward, arrow. Come onto the ball of your back foot and get lighter in your left foot until your toes lift off the mat. Flex them towards the ground, warrior three. Your hands can always be down on the mat for a little bit more support. Start to rise up. Bring your left knee into your chest. Stand tall. Then set your left foot down, chair pose. Breathe in here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, take it through your flow, or skip it, and just find your way straight to downward facing. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, pull knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Use your core, step it through. Drop your right knee, lift your arms, find your low lunge. Option for the heart opener, cactus your arms. Use your fingers, spread them wide. These poses start in your fingers and in your toes. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hands down, walk your hands back towards your hips, straighten your left leg, flex your toes. Keep a little bend in your left knee. Without actually moving your heel, feel like you're dragging it back towards your body. And start to walk your hands back forward, bend into your left knee, curl your right heel under, lift your knee, and drop your heel to 45. Lift your arms, warrior one. Again, adjust yourself. Bring your hands to your hips, move your feet if you need to move your feet, and then lift your arms overhead. Second option for a heart opener, cactus. Pull your elbows towards the back. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, sweep them behind you, bring your torso to tilt forward. Feel like you're squeezing a beach ball in between your hands. Then come onto the ball of your back foot. Spring off, fly, warrior three. And if you wobble or if you fall, it's okay. Your body's learning and you're teaching yourself that you can get back up if you fall over. Bend your left knee so that you can pull your right knee into your chest. Stand tall, breathe, flex your toes, and set it down, chair pose. Reach your arms overhead of your chair. Then exhale, straighten your legs, sweep your arms behind you, that halfway lift with your palms face up. Chair pose, reach your arms with your hips. Exhale, arms back, straight leg with a soft little micro bend. Chair pose. A couple more like this. Exhale, fold with a halfway lift, like you're gonna dive into a swimming pool. Then bend your knees, reach your arms, chair. Arms sweep back, halfway lift. Chair pose and hold. And bring your hands to your heart. Grow one inch. Exhale, twist towards the right. Your right, your left elbow can hook your right knee, or if that's not working for you, stay lifted and just twist through your torso. Come back to center. Exhale, twist towards the left. And again, if it's not working to be all the way low, come up a little bit higher and twist that way. Release back to center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step back, you can take your flow or you can skip your flow and just find your way straight to downward facing dog. And when you find down dog, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees to hover over the mat. Look forward. Then drop your forearms down to the mat, maybe one at a time, maybe at the same time. Then straighten your legs, dolphin pose. Bend your knees, 
Look forward, exhale, press into your palms, shoot forward, plank. Then lift your hips up and back down, facing dog. Again, like that, bend your knees, look forward, drop your forearms, then straighten your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, shoot forward, plank pose. Lift your hips up and back. Last one, bend your knees, look forward, drop your forearms, then straighten your legs and your mat, walk them towards your elbows for dog. So this is prep for a headstand or a forearm stand, but it's a lot of work for your shoulders as it is. So really feel like you're lifting up through your armpits, spreading through your shoulder blades, and keep your knees bent if you need to. And maybe you can walk your feet a tiny bit closer. Breathe in. Breathe out, drop your knees. Press it back, child's pose. You can bring your hands down by your hips, palms face up. Just rock a little side to side. stay here for as long as you need. You can pause the video and stay here if you want. Or you can find tabletop position and we'll stretch out our shoulders. And we'll actually start by lifting your right leg, flex your toes, and then draw those big circles with your hip just like we started with. Switch out your direction, take it the other way. And then we'll start to extend the leg, send it out long. And find that lateral extension from before. And then we can add our thread the needle, lift your left arm, open up, exhale, thread it through, left shoulder, left cheek, all the way down. Then your right arm can walk out in front. And slowly start to make your way back in. Press into your right palm to lift your left arm. Set both hands down so that you can pull your right knee back into center. Rinse out your spine, drop your belly. And then relax. Come back to center. Pick up your left foot, stamp it towards the ceiling. And just start to draw your big circles. And switch it out, other way. And then we'll start to extend that leg out towards the left. Bring your whole foot down if you can get it down. Press into that whole foot. Then lift your right arm open. Exhale, thread it through. And from here, you can walk that left arm out forward. Keep pressing your hips back. And start to slide your left hand back in. So you can lift the right arm, open it up. And then we'll slide that left knee in. A couple rounds of cat and cow. And once you feel good, we'll go back to downward facing dog for one more flow on each side. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg. Pull knee to chest just once this time, and then we'll step it through. Stay on the ball of your back foot, lift up, crescent lunge, reach your arms overhead, bend into your left knee so that your tailbone points straight down. Then exhale, sweep your arms behind you, bring the crown of your head forward. Inhale, reach up, bend deeper into your back knee. Sweep your arms back, straighten through your back leg like you're gonna blast off. Inhale, reach. Last time, exhale, and we hold. And then again, we're gonna to start to get lighter in that left foot until it lifts up and we fly. And start to rise all the way up, knee to chest. And this time we'll find figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Flex your left toes, sink into a chair. You can stay right here or you can start to twist. Bring your left elbow towards the sole of your left foot. And then we'll start to make it back to center. Pull your left knee into your chest, and then set it down, chair pose. 
From here, we'll pull our right knee up and in, heel towards your glute, and we'll start to shoot it back. And this time, we'll open up, left hand down, right arm to your right hand to your right hip, or your right arm can extend. You'll be in balancing half moon. Then big step all the way back. We'll take you to warrior two. You can heel toe your feet a little bit wider. Then put up your front palm, reach forward, up and back, reverse your warrior. Keep pressing that front chin forward. And exhale, left elbow, left thigh. Reach up and over with your right arm. And then inhale, up and back, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Last time, exhale to side angle, and we'll hold there. And if you're working on the half bind, you can take it. If you're working on the full bind, you can take it. If you're working on Birds of Paradise, you can go there. But just remember the purpose of this pose is that your chest is opening up towards the right side. And on the down plane, press down with your feet to rise up into Warrior Two. One more time in reverse, but this time we'll start to straighten through our front leg. Heel toe your back foot in just a little bit. And reach even further towards the back of the room. Start to tee out your arms. Send your hips back and your torso forward until you can't anymore. And tip over the knee triangle pose. Both of these should have little tiny micro bends. You should feel like you're leaning back, tightening your shoulders and your hips with a big, big stretch in your top oblique. And from here, We'll start to turn down towards the earth. Your back toes will come to 45 degrees. And you'll be in pyramid. If you have really open hamstrings, you might even flex your left toes towards your face and lift them off the mat. You might start to find a twist here with your left hand towards your left hip. Just make sure both knees are soft. And you'll start to square it back off. Walk your hands forward until your right leg lifts, and you'll be in standing split. And if you want to work on your handstand, you can work on it from here. Your hands will press down, and you'll start to take little jumps off of your left foot. If you don't want to work on that, your hands come behind your left calf, maybe, and you balance, or you just stay right where you are. Eventually, you all need in the standing split with the right leg lifted, and big step back with your right foot. Plant your hands. Lift your left leg up and back. Three legged dog. Exhale. Bring your left knee towards your left tricep. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale. Lift it. Exhale. Cross your body. Left knee to your right tricep and shoot it through. Try to bring your whole right foot, left foot down, and your right foot down. Fall in triangle. Lift your hips. Square it off. Left leg up and back. Then bend your knee and open your hip. This is a counter pose. You can stay right here or you can flip your dog and open up your heart and start to square back off towards the mat. From here, you can take your flow or you can leave it off and we'll just meet in downward facing dog. And then together, we'll take a cleansing breath in and out. Again, in. Flutter your lips out. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest just one time, and then step it through. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Rise up, press the lines, reach your arms. My right knee is bent, and I'm on the ball of that foot. My heel is lifted. Then exhale, arms sweep back, straighten through your right leg, crown your head forward. Inhale, bend your knee, lift your arms. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Exhale, sweep it back, straighten. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep it back, hold. Then blast off, lift, lift, lift. Off of that leg. Start to pull knee into chest, bend into your left knee so that you can rise up to stand. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, figure four. You can stay here, your hands can even come down, or you start to twist, right elbow towards the sole of your left foot. And start to make your way 
you might fall. Start to make your way back to center. Pull your knee into your chest. Sink. Chair pose. Men will get lighter in your left foot. Left heel towards your left glute. Start to kick it back as you come forward. And open up for a balancing half moon. Flex your toes. Stack your shoulders. Stack your hips. And bend your right knee so that you can take a big step back with your left foot. Or your two. Take a moment to adjust your feet. You want your front arch, to your front heel to be aligned with your back arch. And your arms to be reaching pretty equally in both directions. Flip up your front palm. Reach forward and back. Reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, rise. Reach up and back. Exhale, side angle. One more time. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, side angle, hold. And if you're working on the half bind or the full bind, feel free to play with it. If you're working on a balancing pose, go for that. But if you're resting your elbow on your thigh, see if you can be really light so that you're using your core a little bit more. We start to unwind wherever you are. One more time. We reverse, but we start to straighten through our right leg. Heel toe your back foot in so that your stance is a little bit shorter. And then reach even further towards the back of the room. Start to come out by reaching towards the top and sending your hips back and your torso forward until you can't anymore. And when that happens, you tip over and you find your triangle. Both knees have little bends so that you're protecting your joints. If you don't feel the stretch in your top oblique, reach up a little bit more. Left hand starts to spiral down. Your back toes will turn to 45, and you'll probably need to shorten your stance even more for pyramid. And then again, if you want to, you can start to lift your right toe towards your face. Maybe you bring your right hand towards your hip and you twist. Start to bring your hands back down and walk them forward until your left leg lifts up and back, standing split. If you want to play with your handstand kickups, go for that. And if you want to balance, go for that. If you want none of the above, go for that. Eventually, hands will start to come back down. Left foot, big step back. Right leg up and back. We know you're Exhale, right knee to your right tricep. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee to your left tricep. Then shoot it through. Try to get your whole foot down on both feet and lift your left arm. Then square off towards the mat. Reach your right leg high. Bend your knee, open your hip. If you want to flip, shift your shoulders forward first and then send your foot behind you and lift your hips forward. Come out, drop your hips, make your way back over, and one more chance to flow. This is your last chance in this flow for a vinyasa. Then from here, we'll rise onto your toes, bend your knees, take little steps forward, take the hands. When you get there, bring your toes to touch, rise onto the balls of your feet, and sink your glutes all the way down. And from here, we'll just get a little stretchy to cool it down. Bring the sole of your right foot to the inside of your left leg. And then square your hips over towards the left side. And start to hinge forward. Flex your left toes. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. And just settle in. left hand down, bring your right hand to your left shoulder and twist, look to the back of the room. And gently start to release, switch your legs, right leg long, 
square your hips off so that you're facing that right leg and then start to hinge forward. You want to flex your right toes. soles of your feet down to the mat and then we're just going to find a tiny bit of fire to end before we really um, rest. So pick up the soles of your feet, you'll be back in your boat pose. Your knees can be bent or if it's okay for your legs, whoo, you can start to straighten them but I'm going to keep mine bent. You can reach your arms out in front or it's a little more challenging to bring your biceps by your ears but keep your shoulders relaxed. And then feel really proud, sit up tall, pull your core up and in, feel like you're sucking all of your abdominal organs into your rib cage and get a little more lift. Bring your hands to your heart, twist to the right. Come back to center, twist to the left. Come back to center one more time, twist to the right. Maybe extend that left leg. Come back to center, twist towards the left. Maybe extend that right leg. Come back to center, hold, breathe, inhale. And then let it go all the way down onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. And bring the soles of your feet down to the mat. We'll find bridge pose. If you want to find wheel within your practice, go for it. Pull back in. Otherwise, press into the soles of your feet. Lift your hips. Find your bridge. You might this time interlace your fingers under your hips. Roll a little bit higher, press your chest towards the sky. Keep squeezing inner thighs together. And really feel like your heels are magnetizing towards your shoulders. And you slowly start to lower down. Knock your knees together. Take your feet to the edges of your mat. Just allow your low back to entirely rest on the floor. And then start to drop both knees over towards the right side. Find a twist. And in this twist, you can pick up your um, right foot and press it onto your left knee. And that's going to add a little more weight and make your twist a little bit deeper. It's just an option. One more big breath into your left side. And then start to switch it out. Take both knees over towards the left. And again, it's an option to pick up your left foot, place it on top of your right knee. And really breathe deep into your right side. support your hips the entire time. Inversions are really good for your immune system, but you have to stay in them for a little while to really reverse the blood flow. So give yourself more time than you think you need in this pose. Eventually, slowly start to make your way down, one vertebra at a time, and bring the soul
soles of your feet to touch. Let your knees go out wide. Bring a hand to your heart, a hand to your belly. And send yourself some love. Come back to your intention. Maybe you feel a little gratitude for this time and your willingness to give yourself the gift of this practice. yourself into a seat. Reach your arms overhead. Bring your hands to your heart. Take one more breath in. Let it go. Namaste. Thanks so much, guys. Stay healthy.